Bronzy absolutely hates League of Legends, yet he plays 10, 15, and even 20 games a day. He's convinced that League is just like every other RPG he's played, and that he'd get better at the game if he simply invested more time. He's stuck in a frustrating state of addiction, where he absolutely hates the game, but he cannot stop playing it. Diamond Diamond understands that League isn't an RPG and is very intentional with the time he spends playing ranked. Even though he plays only one game a day, he absolutely loves League of Legends and has a lot of fun every time he plays it. The two games I played before League were Pokemon and RuneScape and they heavily influenced how I approached League of Legends. I was convinced that as long as I grinded the game for 5 hours a day and looked up YouTube videos on the most efficient strats, I would get high elo in no time. Gaming, as I knew it, was simply an act of trading time for stats. The more time I wasted, the more I was rewarded with progress. People with heavy RPG backgrounds that try League will often struggle with this concept because progressing in League is much more different and much harder than popular RPGs. When the traditional more time style doesn't work like before, they tend to get frustrated and start throwing bitch fits simply because they can't get their consistent dose of dopamine that they're so used to from other games. Just like me, they never change their worldview on video games and instead blame League for not being just like every other brainless addiction hub. If you have an RPG background like me, I'm going to give you a secret tip that I never see get talked about. It's going to save you years of time and put you on the right path for not just making LP gains, but also for making the game of League of Legends much more enjoyable. My name is Rabies and I'm a talentless monkey who started in bronze and got all the way to diamond. If someone like me could do it and I'm sharing my wisdom with you, there's literally no excuse why you can't get diamond either. So let's deep dive more into that time equals progress paradigm. While this is true in the loosest context, I'm sure you're all aware that League doesn't work like that. There are literally hundreds of thousands of people that drop more than 20 hours a week on this game trying to climb and they barely move the fucking division. Have you ever stopped to wonder how many of these people have extensive RPG backgrounds to begin with? Have you ever stopped to wonder how many of these people are trying to climb in League the same way they try to complete a story campaign in an RPG? League of Legends is not a game you can just complete. Riot will never allow that. RPGs are stat-based games where the skill is grinding up to a certain level of power to progress further into the game. The main skill that's being tested in these games is do you have the tenacity to grind to progress onto the next stage? Essentially, it's asking you how good are you at wasting your time. In League, skills like CSing, map awareness, and jungle tracking can and do go up by investing time into them. Obviously, I'm never going to say otherwise. The difference is your rate of progression in these skills aren't as linear and constant as RPGs. Leveling them up is a very human experience because they're being tested in a lot of different ways from game to game, just like how you're being tested in life from day to day. They can go up and down depending on the day or the patch. Because of this, the rate of progression can vary drastically. For example, learning how to CS in a Bane vs Renekton matchup is way different than learning how to CS in a Yone vs Zoe matchup. The first matchup is very easy, so you're learning how to CS whilst applying pressure. The second matchup is much harder, so you're trying to survive as best as you can without getting absolutely turbo one-shot by the stupid little bitch. The closest thing I can relate this to is changing an exercise in the gym to target the same muscle in a slightly different way. Yes, you're still training the same bicep, just like you're training the same skill of CSing, but the way you train it can hit different parts of the muscle harder than others. This is why the trick to having fun in League is to not treat it like a regular video game. If you're expecting the typical progression curve of most other games, it'll leave you feeling like shit. Instead, approach it like a sport. Now, before all the really cool incels start spazzing out over treating League like a sport, I need you fucking clouds to understand that League gets infinitely more fun when you approach it from this perspective. Now, can any of you guess why? The answer is depth of skill expression. And this is the secret to having fun in League. It's not the winning or the LP or the border rank up animations or even your friends gassing you up. The most friends I've had in League is losing myself in the infinite skill expression of this game and exploring the limitless possibilities of how I could express that skill. Anyone who's played sports will also understand this comp. Yes, winning and lifting trophies is hype, but nothing will ever beat immersing yourself into mastering a specific skill. I'm saying this knowing full well most of y'all aren't going to get to this level tomorrow. But those are the belief systems you should have in place to reach the end game of finding League enjoyable. By treating League like a sport, you'll forgive yourself for not winning every game and stomping the ops. Instead of deriving satisfaction from winning and losing, you learn to be happy with permanently getting a little bit better every month, knowing it'll eventually compound into ranking up in the long term. That's the secret. That's how I was able to get to Diamond all the way from Bronze. Instead of worrying about winning or losing, I just mapped out the skills that I needed to work on and focused on each of them until I slowly started getting better with time. Eventually, I got good enough with each of these skills, like CSing and team fighting and roaming. Then I leveled up to a new division or even a brand new shiny rank. For the high attention span people who've stayed with me for this long, I'll drop an important gem for you. This is where you can use your RPG background to your advantage. This whole time, I probably convinced you that having an RPG background is sort of like having a deformity that sets you back years. But at the end of the 
day, guys, it's all about perception. The advantage that RPG and MMORPG players have is that they can easily visualize ranking up in a particular skill. I immediately think of RuneScape because for anyone who played that addicting ass game, we know how much time we sank into just clicking around to leveling up cooking or some shit. I want you to bring that same hype into leveling up your League of Legends skills. Visualize all the skills in League of Legends. General ones like not being toxic and map awareness, role specific ones like CSing or ganking, and champion specific ones like Riven or Hue combos. If you're already following my champ mastery advice, you'll only be playing 1-2 to two champions with similar playstyles, so visualizing your skills will be much easier compared to the average League of Legends player. For those of you who put your trust in me, this is where it starts paying dividends. Take those skills and map them out like a skill tree from your favorite RPG game and boom, you've just made League an MMORPG. Now, instead of worrying about random bullshit like teammates, MMR, or matchmaking like all the other bronzies, go into each game focused on leveling up your skills like a diamond. This is the secret to climbing that no one fucking talks about because everyone is too busy worrying about what champions are S tier to rank up with or how has Freak fucked up the game this time around. Come into each game, focus on these skills, leveling them up slowly over the long term, and it's literally impossible for you not to climb. This is how I went from bronze to diamond, and this is the exact philosophy I'm still using in my grind to master. The game is all about skills, might as well make them the focal point of our league journey, just like we did with the MMOs. Ever since I've gotten diamond, I have the confidence now to go out and attempt new things in life, and every time I do so, I still use this template of leveling up skills of that particular pursuit, whether it's fitness, with women, or martial arts, breaking each endeavor into tiny skills to level up has gamified life for me. It's like I'm the main character in my own RPG. Once you guys get really good at this mindset, you don't even need to play those addicting ass games anymore because your real life will become the sandbox MMO. If you want more nuggets of info like this from someone who made the bronze to diamond transformation, as well as 8 VOD reviews a month, hit me up using the links in the description. You'll have 24-7 access to me and I'll personally make you a game plan full of psychological tips and tricks so you can finally feel that flooding sense of accomplishment after getting your desired ranked. Subscribe for more videos like this. Good luck on your climb and remember, Anyone can get diamond.